Now tell me, how are you feeling right now? Oh my goodness, this is wild for me. I mean, really, y'all are, are amazing. Really. I, was, I was bagging groceries three months ago, so this is still pretty... Big step from that. Now, I have a quick question for you. Yeah. How does this all feel? Has it sunk in yet? Oh no, man. It's, got, it's probably going to sink in five months down the road when I'm sitting in my house watching ESPN or something. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh... This is all just so wild for me. It's just crazy, really. Now, tell me, you must have been imagining what it would be like to be an American Idol. But what did it feel like when Ryan Seacrest announced your name? I mean, never in my wildest dreams would I have ever even thought. I mean, I watched the finale last year with Lee, and it didn't even cross my mind. So uh, when Ryan said that, I just, I just bent down. I was like, you kidding me? I mean, it was a, it was a moment I'll never forget. What did you guys think of that? <laughs> now, you have a lot of support in your hometown. Where do you come from? Going to North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now tell me, what do your friends and family think now of this new stardom you have? Oh man, they're loving it. You know, it's really good for, uh, for North Carolina, for Garner. But to them, I mean, I'm getting this a lot. You know, I mean, I'm not coming back to them as just Mr. Celebrity. I'm still, I'm still Scotty. So still humble. Nice. Finally, you saw the show yesterday. Do you have any advice for our participants who are vying for that dream ticket, trying to get exactly where you are now? Oh yeah, just go out there and have fun. I mean, really, I got to see the show and see the audition process, and I saw it just all smiles and all fun, and be unique. I mean, if it was the best, if, if this was strictly the best thing in the world, I, I would have got cut in a while back. You just gotta be unique and have fun. That's, that's just what it's all about. You heard it, come back to the American Idol experience. Now we have some questions submitted uh, by our theme park guests earlier today. So these are submitted by our theme park guests earlier right. today. The first question is, what are you looking forward to most about this American Idol tour coming up? Oh my goodness, I think we're going to be out here July 24th. Yeah, in Orlando. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Everybody's going to come out and support Oh yeah, come see me. It's going to be a lot of fun though, reunite with the top 11 and just Tour in the country, you know, us boys are gonna have a good time on the bus. Do you? I told them though, if you have to use the bathroom, wait till we get to the arena. Don't, nothing on, nothing on the bus. Good advice from a true American <laughs> Idol. <laughs> All right, now who's your biggest musical influence? That was another question. Biggest though. musical influence. I, I grew up listening to the old kind of country with the Hank Williams and the Conway Twitty. Yeah. So, Johnny Cash. That's, that's what I grew up listening to. Elvis Presley too. He's a Elvis yeah. Presley yeah. king. Another question. What was your favorite song that you performed on American Idol? Favorite song? Oh, there were a lot of them. I have to go with Gone by Montgomery Tent. Nice. Yeah. All right, and our final question. I want to be on American Idol. What advice do you have for me when I audition? Once again, just be unique. Don't be nervous. I mean, it's, 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 just, you've already lost the battle. Just go out there and have fun. Just, you can do it. Uh, anybody can do it. I was bagging groceries. So, I mean, really, just go out there, be unique, have fun, and, and show them what you're all about. I mean, leave everything right there on the audition stage. <laughs> there you go. Now, I'm not sure if they're, they're up for a song.